on everyone jack here from half chrome and no this is not a drone this is a skateboard an electric skateboard from base camp and i always thought these things would be pretty cool so i had to give it a shot this is a really nice entry level skateboard so if you're looking for something to cruise around drink some ocean spray and jam out to fleetwood mac this just might be your thing Maybe you're just looking for something to have fun and tool around the neighborhood. This is actually a pretty solid option. So stay tuned, I'll tell you all about this electric skateboard from Basecamp. Okay, so this is the F11 Basecamp electric skateboard, and they bill it as an entry level electric board. And I'd have to agree, that's exactly what this is. It's about 11 pounds and about 30 inches, just a little bit shy from tip to tip. It's about nine inches wide. The motor underneath is a 300 watt motor, and it's got a 400 milliamp hour battery. That battery gives you nine hours of drive time, and you have a top speed about 10 miles an hour. It doesn't seem super fast until you get on this thing and you're riding it around. 10 miles an hour is actually moving on a skateboard. Now, in terms of my level of skateboarding, it's been a while since I've been on a real board, uh, but I do snowboard in the winter. I found that's a pretty comparable skill because, you know, you don't have to do all the pushing that you do with skateboarding. Now, I did enjoy driving this or riding it or whatever you want to call that. Now, a suggestion I have, um, I would actually tighten up the trucks here with the T-tool they give you just to kind of firm them up a little bit. Now, they say this thing is rated for up to 225 pounds. I'm about a buck 80, and I found that, you know, just a little bit loose for a guy like me. Now, I did have some friends of mine uh, that were a little bit heavier drive this thing around in slow mode, um, and it doesn't move quite as fast if you're a little bit bigger. I also have my children and my nephew riding around on this thing and they really love it. I think this thing is built for 18. I think that's the ideal person for this board. Someone in the 150 to 175 range, or maybe even lighter. I think lighter would probably be just fine as well. Now it will go up inclines, especially if you're already moving, but at a standstill, um, even slight inclines are gonna be a challenge. It says it'll handle up to 10 degrees, and it absolutely will. It'll go up larger inclines, especially if you have ahead of steam already but really trying to push this thing it's not gonna work there appears to be one brushless motor and is tucked behind in this rear wheel here so actually if you really wanted to uh, move this it's pretty darn simple at least it looks like it uh, we've just got that battery right here motor in the wheel and then one wire so if i want to put this on say a larger board which is something that i think if i was going to use it every day i'd want a little bit bigger of a board a little bit more stable i don't know that i'm actually going to do that but it's an option that i have i had a lot of fun playing around with this and even enjoyed um kind of calling it right you push a little remote you slide it over you put your foot down it almost feels like some sort of superhero move this is the remote that you get with it it's really pretty darn easy to use you know, you just kind of push forward on the thumb to make it go forward. You pull back to slow it down and the brake does work really well. You turn it on with the push of the button and then you push the power button here to kind of cycle through your, your speeds. Um, one is really slow, two is okay, three is where I found that's where I wanted to ride, and then four all the way up at the top. That was just a little bit too fast, at least for me. My son, who's 13 and a little bit crazier than I, said, hey, Dad, I got to ride at full speed. And I do have to say that does make me nervous, but Basecamp also sells helmets. I did pick up a couple of helmets from them as well. This is their SD04, I believe. Um, and they're nice. They're comfortable. They work well. Um, they fit my noggin. They also fit my children's head as well. We've got this adjustable dial in the back. So it does fit people with different size heads. I've got a white one and a black one. Uh, looks like it's made by Monada, which is a reputable helmet company. I also picked up a pair of wrist guards. Now, they don't sell them on the Basecamp website, but that's something that I would suggest you consider. I believe the number one injury for boarders is broken wrists, right? People try to brace their fall, and that's the first thing that ends up going. So these aren't too expensive. I think I picked them up for less than $20 on Amazon. You know, Basecamp makes it a point that this is a affordable, portable solution. They even give you this backpack, which is a really nice addition to this little kit. 
Now I've already put a handful of miles on this and I do plan to put a handful more. You know, in the process of recording this video, my daughter came down and said, hey dad, can I get the skateboard? They love this thing. And I think that's the demographic that this board is built for. Kids, right? Teenagers. I think a grown adult like myself probably wants a larger board, but you know what? This thing's pretty fun. So for about 300 bucks, the Basecamp F11 electric skateboard is a solid beginner entry level option. If you're thinking about buying one of these things, check out the link down below. I've got a link to Amazon as well as Basecamp's website. It's a lot of fun, but make sure you got yourself some protective gear like a helmet because uh, this thing moves. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of things coming your way. Good luck, everyone.